All right, I got this whole thing figured out. We hit the town, maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. Hi guys, it's Rob here from CVG, and I'm joined by Tamor Hussein, who's played Infamous Second Son. Hello, Tamor. I have played it all the way through, beginning right. to end. What do, what do you think are the main strengths of uh, Second Son? I think the biggest strength uh, it has going for right. it is the main character, Delson Rowe. He's kind of like the anti-Cole McGrath. Cole McGrath was kind of, he, he was a character designed very much for that age. He fit perfectly in with the likes of Marcus Phoenix. Kind of this bold, gruff, very uh, standard video game hero type. He didn't have much going for it. Not, I wouldn't describe him as a very comic booky guy. A comic book character usually have some sort of quirk or kind of outrageous personality to have something going for them and Delson is that character he's written really well he's designed to be like I described him as as a Peter Parker type character and he yeah. is that kind of character he's got that kind of like loose really humorous um, mm. roll with it kind of attitude that Peter Parker has he kind of dives in head first and deals with it after than that after that and Cole didn't have that attitude didn't uh, the developer Sucker Punch try and kill him off when they tried to redesign him and kind of Tony Hawk him up a bit and kind of make <laughs> him a kind of edgy skater kind of looking yeah. dude it seemed like to me that they they realized and they identified that Cole was a bit of a weak link and yeah. they want they needed some more color to this character mm -hmm. which is why they kind of try and redesign them in my mind and it turned out you know there was a lot of backlash and um, I think how they resolved it was by actually killing him off um, he dies at the end of the good ending which is somewhat telling I feel yeah like the best scenario for that game if you're pure good is that your main character dies I, I get, get the impression that's the main advantage of, uh, that this has over the previous mm, infamous yeah. games does it do anything else on top of that because i got the sense that it doesn't i think the combat's going to be quite divisive um i personally when it finally all the pieces were kind of given to me all the tools that i needed it kind of all starts to fit together towards the end of the game and you have so it is each power you draw you don't just like hit a d-pad button and switch it in between them you have to actually draw them from the environment around you so for example if you need your fire powers you go to or your smoke powers for example you find a, a, a smoke resource like a, a, the engine of a car or some burned out building and you draw that f and change your powers into that neon is from neon signs video is from yep. video signals and there's kind of like this this kind of dynamic where you're running around quite frantically trying to grab powers from wherever you can you use up each power has each time you use it it takes a bit of energy and instead of running around looking for that same power again it might be more beneficial to you to just grab the other one that's right next to you and the enemies are quite challenging in the way that uh, you can defeat them. Each you can use any power to kill any enemy through perseverance. Yeah, sure. But usually there's a there's a better way to do it using a separate power. It also kind of adds to the strategy because a lot of the time you might not because the the waves that they throw at you are kind of are well mixed up of the different enemy types. So what happens is you might have three or four normal grunt level soldiers that are quite easy to take care of with a, a smoke bomb, which makes them choke up. Yeah. So you can just run up behind them and either melee kill them to incapacitate them or take them out completely but then your next enemy might be one of the heavily armored types who is a lot harder to deal with with smoke so you're you're better off changing to neon maybe so you run up and find neon and they put all the icons for where each type is on the map so you run over and find neon and use that instead you can like do precision shots and take them um, take them out of the knees or take or chip away their armor and yeah. then, and then, or it might be like you want you want to get some uh, distance between you and the uh, enemy types so you can use that. So there is still an element of strategy to it, but mm. at the same time, you can just be uh, stubborn and spam the same type, the one type of uh, power if that's what you prefer. Now, as, as people can see on the video in front of them right now, Obviously, the game looks quite gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really nice. Technically, it looks really nice. But the problem is that the whole city feels a bit lifeless and soulless. Yeah. And yeah. and when you've just come off games like Assassin's Creed and, and GTA, v GTA 5 and, the, and yeah. even stuff like Saints Row and Sleeping Dogs, those those games, they present us, they give you a sense of place really, really well. Whereas the city, it it's kind of quite sparse and quite barren like and also i'm gu i'm guessing quite uninteresting as well very very say. uninteresting there's yeah. little you are literally the 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 most interesting thing in there and that's kind of which is what they were going for yeah it's always been the case with the games like infamous uh, you, you kind of appear on the streets and people will either cower in fear or they will you know kind of rally around you and show their support based on how uh, how you behave in the game yeah. but the problem is everything else around it is really really poor like there's not really an ambience to it 
Um, it's it's a really really like that's a real shame. But empty. I, so I mean, overall, Timor, why should people play this game, and why should maybe people avoid this game? What what are the biggest reasons here? I think the biggest criticism, a uh, biggest mistake you can make is c expecting a, a PS4 kind of next gen mind blowing experience from it. Yeah. This is very much more of the same infamous. And when I say more of the same, I mean it could have been done on the PS3. Um, maybe sure. losing some shiny graphics on the way yeah. but if you like the series and you want to see where it's going i know there are some people out there who like me enjoy the lore um you want to see that where that heads and a kind of you want to see an interesting character fun character you want to play as there's some decent combat in there as well tomorrow thanks very much for that and your written review is on the cvg website that's where people can get a thousand words of what you think yep. about the game if you'd like more videos from us please do subscribe and speak soon yeah.